December 12th. Mommy and Me, right yes, after church next Sunday. Mommy and Me is a ministry for our, our moms and children to come together, do a little Christmas craft, and they're going to eat. It's a really good time. So make sure you're here next Sunday, right after church. And on December the 11th, this Saturday, is Drop and Shop. And that is for all you parents that need to do Christmas shopping. Drop them kids off them heathens. Drop them off through Miss Rose. And you can go get all the shopping done if you just want to relax and take a nap for a few hours. Drop them off here. It's free of charge. It's free babysitting. And just, bring them on. My kids will be here. <laughs> sign your name up in the sign-in sheet in the lobby. Let us know you're going to be here. <clears throat> and on December 19th, we have our children's Christmas party. And it's going to be spectacular, I'm sure. But we need all of your kids to be here every single Sunday. And there'll be some other practices too, but definitely every Sunday. Every kid you know, be here for Christmas play practice. Yeah, we need all the kids that we need. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, <laughs> tell your parents you need to come to church. Bring your parents to church. <laughs> hey, but you know what time it is? Commercial time. Commercial time. All right, that takes care of the back of the house. You want to... You want to go around and take the lights off the front? Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, hey, by the way, thank you. If it wasn't for you, I don't know who'd get on that roof. You are awesome. Yeah. He's, uh, is that the house you were talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah. They leave their lights up all year round. They leave their lights on all year long. Here, check it out. So they leave their lights on all year long? All year long. And those bulbs change according to whatever holiday season it is. Get out. Can't wish I could. So like July 4th, those bulbs come red, white, and blue. Thanksgiving. Harvest colors. Halloween. Black and orange. Memorial Day. Camouflage. Get out! Can't wish I could. Oh, I, I bet it's embarrassing for the neighbors. Oh, the neighbors. We're totally embarrassed. We complain about it all the time. Oh, and when there is no holiday season going on, those bulbs become little red hot chili pepper lights. What? Yep. Give me one good reason why you should celebrate the pepper. <sighs> Can't wish I could. Like your neighbors are the Motel 6. And my wife, she's always saying, let's just leave the lights on just a little bit longer, let you stay in the spirit of things. But when Christmas is over, you take down the lights, am I right? I don't know. I'm not even the right guy to ask. I don't even put lights on my house. Why don't you put lights on your house? I'm afraid of heights. But the question is, why do you put lights on your house? To celebrate Christmas, the birth of Christ, all that kind of stuff. There you go. That's your answer. What? If you don't want to celebrate Christ all year long, then take the lights down. That's not what I was saying. You're putting words in my mouth. You're siding with my wife. Hey, hey, I'm not siding with anyone. I'm, and I'm sorry. I didn't realize that you and God were, uh, you know... On the outs? Yeah. We're not on the outs. Me and God, we're very tight. We're very, very tight. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. Prove it. Prove what? Are you daring me to leave my lights on all year long? Hey, no dare here. I'm just saying... You gonna let your little light shine? Wait! Man the letter, my friend. What? Man that ladder. We're gonna get back up there and hang these lights. No, no, no. Oh, I was just kidding. Oh, yes. It is gonna be a proclamation of my faith. Didn't you hear? I I'm afraid of heights. You're already up there. <laughs> Honey, honey, get the apple cider ready. Put on the Perry Como records. These lights are gonna shine. <laughs> get back here. These lights have to shine. And we're back. Yes, we are. Top notch Christmas tonight. It's a candlelight communion. It starts at 6 p.m. right here at the church. And. So all you old folks show up. There will be food afterwards. Yes. And we have another connection group going on tonight. Do we? Mm -hmm. The 20s and 30s. So the 20s and 30s are going to meet here at 6.30. You're going to eat. Um, Lee and Evan here in charge. It'll be a good time. So all you 20s and 30s out there, get here along with the top notchers, which is 55 plus, I believe. I think Eve, you fit in that category today. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. I think my wife Vanessa does. But anyways, let's all move on to, you know what time it is? The Big Scoop. And the Big Scoop is our live nativity scene. We're going to start work on that on the night. So we need everybody here to help. And that starts at 9 a.m. 
What? That's right. Yeah. 9 a.m. they're going to work on the set with the actual live nativity scene in December 10th and 11th. Yeah. And there's a sign-up sheet in the back. We need lots and lots and lots and lots of help. We've had some good memories of this day. Yeah, I remember them days. <laughs> We had a runaway donkey one year, so you're not going to want to miss that. He did run all the way down like three blocks, <laughs> and we was chasing him down. So, be here. It'll be a good time. It's a lot of fun. We'll have hot chocolate, and you're supposed to pay for it, but I think we usually get it free for yeah. the cast. So, make sure that you're here, and uh, Live Nativity seems a great way to show our community the true meaning of Christmas. Sure, it's a lot of fun to come out and help out. Once again, this has been another edition of South Point Scoop. I'm Eric. I'm Krista. Hey, join us next week when we celebrate, connect, and contribute.